Hey everyone, um, I'm Caroline. Um, I'll, I'll try and be positive and, and kind of lift us up a bit because uh, it's all been very real and a bit a bit painful to hear. Um, so so I'll, I'll try and tell you some, some good stuff that's happened to me uh, since I've been uh, receiving a direct payment and since I've become more community um, aware really more community supported I think is um, I started receiving a direct payment uh, 12 years ago when um, no 14 years ago when I became a single mum um, of a six year old and a two year old and because my partner had left uh, and I had to get my kids from school, from home to school and nursery. So I decided to, uh, uh, and I got supported by uh, social care and got a, received a direct payment, which which was fantastic at the time because uh, because Sheffield had, had decided to launch upon this. Uh, personal budgeting, self-directed support. So I could choose who supported me. They didn't need to be a uh, DBS check because I approved. I mean, like my neighbour took my little girl to school and I bought her a box of chocolates or a tin of biscuits a week, which didn't cost very much, even though it would have cost like, 50 pounds a day to have somebody take my kids to school and nursery um at least so and i could save what i didn't use of that part of my budget for something else that i might need as long as it fitted in with my support plan and, and met one of my needs so so that was all great and i decided that I wanted to swap my electric mobility scooter for a tricycle. So I got in touch with lots of people um, in order to get some help doing this because I've got no idea. I knew nobody who cycled and, and, uh, and I just thought, well, it kind of ticks, ticks a few boxes and I can I can save the money that I'm having to spend on an electric mobility scooter. So, um, you know, I'd be using my own power type of thing. And, and so uh, I got in touch with a cycling development officer and the health champions who were fantastic. They funded me um, going to Hillsborough Park, Sheffield, which was where... Uh, in partnership with a cycling development officer, uh, I started uh, Cycling for All after we went round the whole country <laughs> looking for a suitable trike, tricycle for me to ride to get my kids to school and nursery. Um, and we went to London and various places and I actually got one paid for by Cycling UK they bought my first tricycle um, and that's what I used to get to school a nursery. Um, and we, we then opened up uh, a cycling project at Hillsborough Park, Sheffield, where we had an assortment of tricycles and hand cycles and, and even a wheelchair, uh, Velo Plus it's called, to carry uh, people in wheelchairs so they couldn't feel the wind in the hair and and it was a whole it was a whole it still is a whole um social thing you know people people the cycling is just kind of like the bones of the community um the flesh is is the people it's it's the like uh having a cup of coffee and and having a chat and finding out how somebody's mum is, you know, and, and that sort of thing. Um, and it's all it's all very community-based. Everyone looks out for each other. Uh, and I, I started that 
no, I, I started my cycling journey um, through that and through Cycle for Health, which was uh, me cycling a tricycle with a lot of people on, on two wheeler bikes, you know, like uh, racing bike kind of guys who who would all see me struggling on a tricycle and they'd, they'd all think, if Caroline can be happy struggling and still smiling, well then I should be. And so, so they became a big network, a, a big support to me. You know, everybody, I became friends with all the cycle trainers and, and such like. And I could use that, I could use, I could take the money that I was saving on not paying for personal assistance to take my kids to school to fund my taxes to get me to Hillsborough Park and, and to get me to, to learn about, it, it was the, it's the equivalent of cycling proficiency. Uh, I had to, you know, I had to learn all how to cycle on the road and, and things like that in my little tricycle. So, um, so I learned how to do that. And uh, as I said, the health champions became involved and I did a lot of public speaking and a lot of uh, promotional work. And I, I was nominated to carry the Olympic torch by Nigel West. Some of you might have heard of him. Uh, and I got chosen to carry the Olympic torch. I carried it through Conisborough. Uh, Fantastic day, best day of my life. Um, and that that led to all sorts of things. It's led, it's led to me working with uh, adult social care to develop um, to develop uh, direct well self-directed support and and the training of social workers to deliver self-directed support. And, um, and so we, we co-produced all that and we co-produced the training. And that led me to uh, become part of Think Local Act Personal and the National Co-Production Advisory Group, which has been fantastic. It's just led me to so much. Um, Sorry, Carol, uh, one minute left. Oh, I've got so much to say. <laughs> and COVID, in, in relation to COVID, I, I really wanted to use my budget to buy a laptop and carry on with the meetings on Zoom. But unfortunately, they've gone from being like a, um, a social, a council that lets you use your budget for creative, beneficial things to saying, no, I couldn't use it for that. So so it's in a bank waiting to be used for some something. But not my need. <laughs>